Hi, I'm Netter, and this is Netter's Network, and today I'm going to show you a powder trick. When I was putting my makeup, I noticed that I'm almost out of powder. I mean, dangerously low. So it's going to be time for me to make some more. Now, the reason I like this container is because I use a beauty blender to put on my powder, and it fits nicely to be able to tap into the powder and then press it against my face to apply the powder, rather than using a brush, which then you end up with clouds of powder everywhere. And as a contact lens wearer, I don't want all that powder around my eyes because it makes it difficult to see. And then I'm going to take out my contacts and clean them, and it's a mess. With the Beauty Blender, like I said, I just press into my powder, and then I press it against my face wherever I want the powder to be. Now for me, I have normally dry skin, except for around my nose. My nose gets very oily. So when I make my powder, I use a combination of my powder and a secret ingredient. Let me show you what that is. The powder that I generally use is this Ben Nye Fair. I've used lots of different powders, cheaper ones, more expensive ones, and this one seems to work the best. I also noticed that the cheaper ones seem to kind of separate uh, after they've been on my face for a while, where this one pretty much stays put and keeps my makeup looking pretty decent throughout the day. My trick to making it last longer is good old-fashioned cornstarch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my powder and take my cornstarch and I'm going to mix them together. So not only will that make my powder last longer, but the cornstarch is a secret ingredient to help blot the oil. Now typically when I'm putting powder on my face, I will put a little extra around my nose and then powder the rest of my face and then um, come back in, take care of my nose area. That gives my nose a little extra time to be able to uh, have the oil absorbed by the powder so I'm not having a shiny nose all day. Now I don't use the entire container of cornstarch. I'll do about half a bottle of my powder with a, um, about an equal amount or so of the cornstarch. And it can be any brand of cornstarch. This is the cheap stuff from Target Market Pantry is what's called. Uh, so it doesn't have to be like a brand name or anything like that. It doesn't have to be, I think Argo makes one. It doesn't have to be Argo. It can be super cheap stuff. You can get it from the dollar store. It doesn't matter as long as it's cornstarch. So I'm going to add about half of this bottle to my container. And I'm doing it off camera because it can get a little messy. So now you can see I've got about half the container of my powder in there. And then I'm just going to... Apparently I labeled this as cornstarch. I must have had the bag out of the box at some point, and so I labeled it so I would know what it was. What I'm going to do is just add about the same amount of cornstarch. I may have done a little bit too much, but you know what? It's fine. So I've got a nice mixture in here, and what I'm going to do is just pop my lid back on, give it a nice shake, and now I've got a full container of powder. If you add a little bit too much cornstarch in, you can always take more of your powder and add it in. Like this powder is a little bit darker than the mixture. So I am going to actually add a little bit in because I did add a little too much cornstarch. So you can see on top there it's slightly darker. Put my lid back on and give it another shake. And now I've got more than enough powder to last me for a good long time. And like I said, generally when I put my powder on, I'm taking my beauty blender. I'm just pressing it in to cover one side and then I'm just pressing it to my face. And like I said, I'll generally keep a little extra around my nose just so that it can absorb the oil. But I'll then blend in the rest of this while I'm letting that sit. I actually didn't need to put any powder on, but for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm just showing you how I usually apply it. And there we go. A quick tip to not only make your powder last longer, but to take care of that unwanted shine. This is especially helpful if you do have an oily T-zone. Like I said, for me, I only have an oily nose, but I know some people are plagued with it being all through here and on their forehead, and this will really help to absorb that oil and keep your makeup looking really nice throughout the day. Let me know what you thought of this quick tip. And if you have oily skin, I'd really like to know how this worked for you. Leave a comment below and tell me your experience with my trick. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so you never miss a bit. See you next time. Bye.